back to my channel success engineering official so today in this video i'm going to explain you guys uh, how to read uh, this uh, hpsc plan hpsc design drawing for uh, ducted split unit uh, so this is uh, one of uh, the drawing okay and uh, this is uh, here using ducted split okay so and dx type so i will explain you how to study this drawing and what is this all these parameters in the next tutorials guys i will explain you how to design this duct okay so if you are new on my channel i would like to request you guys please do subscribing and whenever i will upload the video you will get the notification of that video if you if you subscribe my channel so please do subscribing and please like my video and share my video with friends so let us start now as you can see this is the ducted split ac units and this is called indoor unit this can be installed inside the ceiling okay inside the fall ceiling and the cfm for this machine is 3500 cfm okay cfm is nothing but the cubic feet per minute is nothing but the unit of airflow okay uh, unit of uh, airflow and this is uh, the outdoor unit for this machine and uh, both uh, machine are connected with refrigerant piping okay and uh, that's why it is called uh, dx unit okay because this machine is directly uh, directly connected with this uh, outdoor unit and is called dx uh, to avoid uh, this uh, vibration if there is vibration in the machine they then uh, in the duct then it will not transfer to this machine okay and this is the reducer because the opening of this machine is this much only so we have to connect it with connect with reducer okay so guys uh, and this is your main duct this is your main duct okay and these are those uh, branches okay if you can if you can see here and this is called y branch okay so and this uh, this uh, this branch is uh, serving uh, to each rooms actually there are 10 rooms this design is for the 10 rooms okay so these are the branches okay so from this in each branch there is vavs okay and vavs is connected with uh, thermostats okay so this uh, this machine can be uh, the in the temperature can be controlled individually in each rooms okay so this is the thermostat and this vav contains uh, actuator and th this actuator is uh, controlled by this uh, thermostat whenever you there is a demand in the room this uh, thermostat will give signal to this actuator and this uh, and this will be open or closed okay so this ts is nothing but thermostat and vf is variable air volume okay and these are this uh, this is the supply diffusers and each room there will be the return also so this is called a return diffuser this red color and then the direction of this uh, aero, aero uh, you can identify this uh, diffuser with uh, their uh, direction so direction of these uh, diffusers uh, return diffuser of arrows is opposite the air is uh, going uh, entering from this side okay and if you see the aero direction for this supply diffuser it is going out that means this uh, air is coming from this side okay and it is going to spread inside the room and from the room the return air is uh, coming and entering through this diffuser and this is uh, free flow so it is going to be directly inside this machine and enter here okay here okay. 
enter here let me show this uh, with arrow okay so move this this is written here okay so this is the written error you can show like this uh, with uh, text double click to edit a written error written error okay so this is uh, how this uh, HPC design drawing is looks like so this is very simple design okay but this is very informative for these uh, beginners as well as experienced people because uh, the concept is very clear in this design and this is very easy to understood this uh, drawing okay so and in the end each branch as you can see uh, there is a VCD volume control damper this will be used to control the airflow of each uh, space okay so this is how it uh, it looks like okay so and this uh, and this uh, this green color is uh, flexible and is connected the with a diffuser this um, uh, from this deck to this diffuser there will be flexible okay so in the next tutorials guys uh, i will uh, design this duct okay how to design uh, i will show you in the next tutorial so don't forget to watch my next tutorials next tutorials will be very very important so because uh, we are going to design the duct so first of all we will design the main duct after that we will design this uh, each branches and then we and then we will found this uh, uh, all the diffuser size then uh, all the diffuser sizes and then we have to draw this uh, design this vavs vcds except all these accessories okay so i hope you guys learn something from this video if you learn something from this video so please do subscribing and my channel and uh, hit the bell icon as well also please uh, like and share my video so don't forget to subscribe my channel once again so thank you for watching my video thank you thank you bye bye